difference between prayer and meditation. Meditation, what the Fillmore's refer to as silence, is basically quieting the mind and the heart, stilling, as the yogis say, the whirlpools of feeling, the waves of feeling, getting quiet and still and feeling the presence. I feel the presence moving in me. When we quiet the restless mind, then we start to experience that which is always there, the inner presence. Now, for some people, that's easier to do than others. You know, whatever way works for you, watching a, uh, uh, looking at a candle flame or uh, some other method, watching the breath, repeating a mantra, it doesn't really matter how you do it. Just taking the time, take your sweet minute of prayer or your sweet five minutes or your sweet hour, whatever it is, taking time to do it. Because one, I feel that's the purpose we're here in the first place. You and I are here to commune with God. We're here to know God. That's our deepest yearning of our soul. I was reading recently of a man, he, had, he was saying in his book, I've had everything, I've had fame and fortune, I've had all relationship for 26 years, I had it all, but when I lost that connection and didn't feel the connection, I felt something was empty, missing. And that's true. I don't care what people do. I don't care how great they say the life is and, oh, I have a, you know, everybody says that. That's everybody's on Facebook to show everybody else. Not everybody is on, but, you know, it's, let me show you how great my life is on Facebook. <laughs> a lot of depression in the world because people are looking at everybody else's Facebook page and going, boy, my life sucks compared to their life. Yeah, everybody's got a show. I did this and I did that. That's good. That's good. I'm just playing. You know that. I, I have a Facebook page too. No, but every, people get distracted. They, they don't feel the emptiness and so they've got to surf the Facebook and this and that and check the phone and check the emails and read the news and watch the TV shows and go to the movies and get drunk and chase after that person and chase after this thing and get distracted from being out of touch with their own being. They don't even know they're empty. They don't even know they're missing something. And then they're so busy running around trying to do everything because they're afraid of death for one thing. I got to run and do it all and keep up with everybody else that they're not even having fun doing all of it. It's a constant race. And the good part is when you take time to commune, take your sweet hour of whatever it might be, sweet minute of prayer, you, you feel filled up from the inside out. You find inner peace. You find inner joy. You find a calmness so that you're able to enjoy whatever you're doing more. And not only that, you do it more effectively. You get in touch with a power that's at the center of your being. Think of a hurricane. What, where's the power in a hurricane? The eye of the hurricane. Still. Source. How about the power of a tornado? Right in the center. A power source. We can all tap into that through communion with God. Now what about affirmations? Everybody knows about affirmations. Nowadays, everybody knows about affirmations. You take a statement of truth, I am whole, well, and strong, I am prosperous and successful, I am centered in poison, the peace of God, whatever, you repeat it over and over to keep yourself, to program the subconscious mind, and to, uh, we, everybody knows about that. Unity has been teaching that for over 100 years. A hundred years ago, Unity was saying, God is not out there to be your servant. God is a presence. She's already done it for you. She's already put the kingdom inside of you. The good is already present. Now you just need to affirm it and claim it in your own thoughts and feelings and allow it to come forth. It's called affirmative prayer. Prayer is affirming that it's already done. 
Let me bring it forth. That's affirmative prayer. Now, when you take time to get still and quiet, I believe your work is already done. It's done. If you want to verbalize it with an affirmation, wonderful. Why not? It reaffirms it. For me, the biggest value of an affirmation is during the day when we forget when that peace and that joy or that calmness starts to get replaced by anxiety or fear or doubts or worries or frustrations. Once we acknowledge that humanness within us, we can take an affirmation to get us back on track to affirm the truth. And so communion is connecting with the power. Affirmations keep us in alignment with the truth. They keep our thoughts and feelings in touch with what is true so that we can allow it to unfold in our life. Make sense?